rated exploited is now 300 strong the channel has expanded into twitter and instagram name is consistent throughout here is to a cross promotion for new views and subscribers Gathered friends, welcome to Rated Exploited. Like and subscribe to empower the world of Matanui. Each gesture strengthens unity with the Bionicle. Now, let us delve into the lore of Lego Technic. It's a new, yet familiar concept so many fans have experienced. Across the world, across the continents, in our own homes, even online. No, I shall disregard the back rooms, as that is not the topic this current moment. But if I ended up in such a liminal space, I'd think only of the Technic creations from LEGO, the ones that raised me into the individual that I've become. It may surprise you, the first time I experienced the Bionicle Dream phenomenon was during the toy line's reign. I recall this dump of a department store called Value City had a specific dream being at the checkout counter, seeing a whole new build for Toa Matau and Toa Vakama from 2004. But they weren't traditional Lego Technic. In fact, they were metallic builds, complex and made of stainless steel. It truly is the example of deep nostalgia in your awakening moments as well as your hours of slumber. I can't help but experience a daydream sensation anytime I'm in those department stores where I bought my first figures. Visited every year between 2001 and 2016, always looking at what LEGO offered new. Can't get the same effect on the internet. Despite that's where Bionicle began, the tangible and tactile experience is the most genuine. The primary store I visited every week has finally gone through a whole shift in renovation. Previous time was in 2006, one of my favorite years. Seventh generation of gaming was kicking off. The most recent point of reminisce came from visiting Bricks and Minifigs for the first time seeing figures in the shelf again, many I'd never seen in person. It heavily plays and contributes into why I love sealed figures, from canister to the box. Personal time capsule. The dream phenomenon hasn't reoccurred for me to a great extent. When I do dream, and I can recall that it was Bionicle related, it's about the modern day, how I perceive it, less about my memories, and more about what it has become for me. I am an instinctual individual, I think heavily in first person. With the approach of the celebration set for Tahu coming next year, I wonder if I'll see it outside the internet. More than likely that's how I'll make my purchase. But if I find it available through local retailers, authorized sellers of Lego that are carrying it on store shelves. I'll be able to relive the Bionicle dream we all long for and experience. I truly hope the set soars. I hope it exceeds Lego's expectation. I'm sure everybody has been given the scenario of, what would you do with a million dollars? My first answer was always, buy my dream car. But lately, as the channel has grown, beyond what I expected, a new idea is forming. There is a strong opinion, even from the most intellectual of the economy, that LEGO would never do anything more of Bionicle, thinking that it's said and done and played its part. But we've been proved wrong once again. So a dream I had came up quite recently as I was fantasizing about the aftermarket of Bionicle figures, memorabilia, etc. 
a lot of YouTubers who hit it big do various charity events, especially around Christmas, and it's just an excellent way to give back to the community through their own success. So in the same scenario, if you won the lottery and got a million dollars, I got another idea of what I would do. I'd literally buy up every sealed Bionicle set that I could find online, enough to fill two full shelving units. What I would do then is pay to be a vendor at a toy convention, set up the shelves, and literally just obtain the Bionicle dream that all of us have. Keep the figures reasonably priced below their market value, and just give the fans the experience once again. It's entirely hypothetical, but that's what I would do. Rekindle the memories and enact upon the phenomenon of the Bionicle dream, and all profits would go to charity. But I truly feel the reward is greater from hard work and obtaining rather than just having your name drawn out of a contest. Thankfully, this does not fit the definition of a pipe dream, for it is not unrealistic, and with all of your subscriptions and views, I can see a distant possibility, and I'm going to be here, right on YouTube, working hard to attain it. But what do each of you think? What Bionicle action would you take if you had the opportunity and the budget? Perhaps if you even fund something more for LEGO. Just imagine if you could literally pay LEGO and provide the materials and resources for something new related to Bionicle. Making one video each week is comparable and feels so similar to an intense grind in an extensive JRPG. It proves to be hard work, but rewarding to every amount of satisfaction. Before closing out on this chilled October night, Happy Halloween from Rokulai, right here on Radiate Exploited. To the extensive dreaming of the Biological Chronicle, this video is to your dedication.